Hi friends, uh, welcome back to Coffee with Ravi. Uh, this is my first post uh, of 2023. One of the th questions that I get from patients uh, or other uh, health uh, care providers is uh, when to worry about stool color. And I thought this would be kind of an interesting topic to talk about uh, so that some information can be gleaned from it. Also, it's kind of a, a topic that I think will attract some attention. Normally, the uh, stool is a mixture of undigested food, inorganic material, and about 40% of it by weight can be bacteria also. Uh, the predominant color of the stool is from bile. Bile is a secretion from the liver that gets secreted into the bile, in, through the bile ducts into the second portion of the duodenum, where it gets mixed with food, uh, it travels through the small bowel, gets into the colon, and the combination of the food we eat and the bile essentially make normal color of the stool which is what we see. So what's normal color and what's kind of abnormal color, I will try to go through it. One of the things that can catch uh, our eye or patient's eye uh, is green colored stool. It typically indicates that there is some green leafy vegetables that has been consumed the day before or there's some green coloring uh, that's uh, uh, been in the food, you know, sort of green jello or uh, popsicles or something that has been consumed that's green in color can really stain the uh, stool and stool can be green. Sometimes some supplements such as Pepto-Bismol can make the stool darker greenish colored. The second color that I want to emphasize is light colored or clay colored stool and this can be a little bit more of alarm signal because clay colored stool may indicate the lack of bile in the stool itself. So there may be some blockage to the bile duct, people may become jaundiced, it may be blockage from stones, it may be blockage from cancer. So clay colored or light colored stools are always a concern. The third one is yellow or greasy colored stools that are foul smelling or floating to the top. This may indicate some lack of digestive juices or lack of good digestive process. Sometimes if the pancreas is not secreting enough juices, there can be this kind of frothy yellow colored stool or other causes such as celiac disease which we have talked about where a person cannot digest wheat, rye and barley. The stool can become yellow, greasy, mucousy and sometimes foul smelling. Black is a color that is always worrisome to me as a gastroenterologist. Black color stool is usually from blood that has come in contact with gastric acid. It turns the stool sticky, dark, and it's called, technical name for that is melena, M-E-L-E-N-A. The stool becomes dark, like the color of my hair. It's sticky, and that many times indicates that there is some bleeding going on. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate it if one is taking iron or Pepto-Bismol. That can also turn the stool a little darker, but truly sticky, dark colored stool that's persisting means that there may be some bleeding and it may be appropriate to bring it to the attention of your healthcare provider. There's also one other color that is in here. Uh, there's an antibiotic called cefdinivir. It's a cephalosporin antibiotic, typically used in children, and it turns the stool fluorescent orange. This can be very alarming, and in fact, uh, I've, uh, you know, patients have shared with me photographs of their children's poop that is bright colored, it's orange, and uh, it can come on, but it'll go away. It doesn't mean there's any bleeding or anything like that. The last one, which is a bright red colored stool, may mean that there is some bleeding in the lower GI tract. It could be hemorrhoidal tissue. Hemorrhoids are bulging blood vessels. They're only around the anal opening. So if there, it can be that, or it can be a polyp, very rarely a cancer. Sometimes it can be colitis or inflammation in the colon. So blood in the stool is almost always a, a trigger for further workup. The second piece of information as a gastroenterologist that I try to uh, ascertain is the consistency. There's a technical way to grade the consistency uh, of the stool. There's a scale called Bristol stool chart scale, which starts from a one to a seven. On this, you know, type seven is, it's a watery, mushy stool. And the, the, this is just more so for your knowledge rather than to actually make anything of it. But if it's a type one where it's pellet-like and it's hard, it's on the opposite end. And it tells me that the stuff is, uh, that the poop is moving through the colon at a slower rate, whereas the consistency that's watery or rushy sometimes means that there's some inflammation or it may mean that the colon is moving faster. So between the stool consistency and the stool color, a lot of information can be obtained. The other piece of it that 
patients or other colleagues ask me is can we make anything out of stool odor you know uh, and that's a little bit more uh, harder to kind of get some information from sometimes if stool is extremely malodorous there can be some excess bacterial overgrowth sometimes it may be diet related but that's an entirely different subset uh, that we can actually approach as a separate topic uh, to kind of make some sense of excess gas or it falls within that excess flatus kind of a problem. So we'll cover that separately. So I hope this gives you some information and a few tidbits of information to chuckle about. Please feel free to keep uh, encouraging me to kind of keep doing this because I feel that the more you know about how your body speaks to you or what you can uh, observe about yourself, the, the better you are about taking care of your own health. Thank you again.